Hello everybody. I wanted to go over the ultrasound machine. This is our new ultrasound machine. This is a Sonosite export. Uh, brief overview of the machine. This is the scanning monitor. This is the touch screen. The touch screen does move up and down. It does fold down uh, for convenience and you can angle it to, so to get rid of glare. Same thing with the monitor. The monitor is fully movable. Um, you have on the base of the machine, you have the actual scanning unit, which is here. Uh, on buttons here, holder for probes and gel, another holder over here for probes, and then down below there's a bar which allows you to raise and lower the machine so you can raise it to a comfortable height if you're seated or if you're standing. So uh, that's a brief overview of the machine in terms of cleaning the machine. Uh, there are specific wipes which we will uh, let you know which ones to use uh, for cleaning the machine. If you use the wrong color wipes or the wrong kind of cleaning supplies on the machine, you can ruin the anti-glare uh, coating that's on the ultrasound machine which can ruin not only the probes but also the screens themselves. In terms of uh, a general rule, make sure that nothing that's alcohol containing uh, comes in contact with the ultra ultrasound machine. So things like uh, chlorhexidine swabs and some of the wipes like the purple top wipes and the red top wipes, if you smell them they have a large alcohol content so make sure that you uh, aren't using those on the machines. So when you uh, approach the machine and you're ready to scan, uh, just hit the on button here. This is what will come up. When you then move to the touch screen, you hit the enter patient information. That'll pull up a data entry field which allows you to enter patient information using a on-screen keyboard, which is touch sensitive. And then when you're done with that, just hit done. And that'll take you to your actual scanning field. Uh, you may need to change your probe. If you need to change your probe, there's a button up here which says transducers and exams. And that'll show you the transducers that are selectable. At the moment, we don't have our cardiac probe hooked up. So once our phased array probe is hooked up, that'll show up as well. But not only can you select your individual transducer here, but you can also select the exam type. So for example, we can select our L25, which is our linear array probe. And uh, we can choose the musculoskeletal setting and then hit scan and it's ready to go. And in the middle of scanning, if we want to again choose a different transducer, we'll go back in there and choose a different probe. So pretty straightforward in terms of that. When you're actually scanning, you adjust actually using the touch screen. So for example, if you want to adjust the depth, if you want to go deeper, you just slide this bar on the right of the touch screen to make the image deeper or more shallow by sliding it up. And you don't have to slide, you can also just click on it and go deeper and more shallow. Same thing with the gain, if you want to adjust the overall gain of the image, which makes the image brighter, you can slide this bar below the image uh, icon on the touch screen to the right, that'll make the image brighter and more gained and slide it to the left, it'll make it darker. So that's how you adjust the overall gain. And if you want to adjust the individual gain of the near field and the far field, you click on this and then you can adjust the gain of the near field and the far field. So, and if you want the machine to adjust the gain on its own, you can hit the auto gain key down here in the lower right hand corner. And what that will do is the machine will interrogate the image and set the gain to what it thinks is appropriate. It generally sets it for a room which is set up as an ultrasound suite, so there's very little room lighting. So the image may be a little dark for the emergency room, so you may have to increase the gain slightly from there. So those are the general adjustments, the basic adjustments for the ultrasound image. If you want to take some measurements, you can hit the freeze key. And then over here on the right hand side, we see the distance, hit that, that'll bring up a uh, circle. We only touch the touch screen. As we move one of these circles with our finger, uh, it'll give us a distance. And then let's say for example, we wanted to measure from this line to this line, we would select the other caliper 
and then bring it over. And our measurement is displayed not only, I'm sorry, it's, the measurement is displayed not only up here in the upper left-hand corner, but also on the screen itself. Uh, so you can see it in two different locations. Now, if you want to save an image, you have a couple of options. You can save the image by hitting Save Image and Calcs down the lower left-hand screen. If you want to unfreeze, you can uh, slide this bar to unfreeze. You can also unfreeze and unfreeze by doing two fingers on the touchpad at any time. That'll freeze and unfreeze. If you want to save a video clip, you can, you can hit this button and then we're now saving a video clip and hit save. Now when you're complete with your exam, just hit the end exam key, just make sure you end your exam each time. Hit yes. And there we're back to our general screen. So pretty easy to use. If you have any interest in learning any ultrasound applications, it does have built-in learning. So you can hit the learn key and it will show you not only how to, some general information about how to use the transducers, how to optimize your image and some general terms for ultrasound. But also let's say, for example, we go into the acute care button, which is mostly what we'll be doing and we want to learn more about how to ultrasound the aorta, we can hit aorta, and that'll pull up a video play on how to perform an aorta ultrasound. And it's got some picture-in-picture. -picture. It's quite good. It normally has audio. Right now it's muted. The aorta from the level of the diaphragm to the bifurcation of the iliac artery must be evaluated in two... You can also mute this and just watch the video. And the nice thing about this is you can watch the video while you're actually performing your scan on a live patient. So it's a way to update yourself on how to perform the exam while you're actually performing the exam. And that is... It, and that just hitting high takes you back to your general scanning. So I think that's a pretty brief introduction to how to use the machine. Just make sure that you clean them ever, after each time you use it. After you're done using it, you should uh, close. You should shut it down and plug it in. That's how we'll get the best battery life out of it. And other than that, the the probes themselves are pretty robust. Particularly, Sonosite is very well known for their how strong their probes are. Just be cautious, um, if they drop straight down on the ground, uh, head first, they almost always will break. Uh, if they bang lightly on the side, they're usually pretty good. So the main thing is just to protect the cord. That's why these are here, so that it, there's never enough length of the cord to, so that it'll drop all the way on the ground, uh, which damages the crystals. So just be very cautious with them. Uh, generally in your hand or in one of the holsters is a good model. All right, thank you so much, enjoy scanning.